Hello and welcome to this video on timer interrupts. This is the third video in the series and now we'll be taking up a very simple example of timer interrupts. Just to revise, the relevant registers are the timer counter register, the timer mask register and the timer control register. For more information on these registers, you can, register, you can refer to the data sheet of the AT328P. It has great detail on the registers and the bits, but now we know enough to get to work. So we're going to remember that timer 0 is an 8-bit timer and so is timer 2, but timer 1 is 16-bit. We're using the Arduino online editor to code and we are going to run the Arduino blink without the delay code. So here's the sample code. The Arduino is going to run at 16 megahertz. So each tick is going to be 1 upon 16 megahertz. So here we observe that 1 upon 16 megahertz into a prescaler of 256 into 62,500 gives us a second. So if we want it to turn off after 0.5 seconds and turn on again after the one second is over, then we have to set the trigger value to be 31,250 or half of 62,500. So here are our variables, the constant integer LED pin 13. We have used an unsigned integer variable type 16 bit T1 load, which initializes the counters. It's set to zero. Then here's the threshold value, which we shall be setting in the OCRA register. There's a Boolean variable called status, which toggles between low and high. So here's our setup. We set the pin mode for LED pin as output. And initially we write it to a low value. Then TCCR 1A is set to zero. And as we saw in the previous video, these three lines of code set the prescaler to 256. Why 256? We've just explained above. Now the TCNT1, we are using timer 1. So TCNT1 is set to T1 load or 0. It is initialized to 0. The output compare register 1, which we are going to use, is set to 31,250 or the threshold value. The timer mask register is set to OCIEA1. So we use the left shift operator to set this bit to 1. So this basically means that the timer is going to operate in output compare mode. SEI sets the global interrupts to true so that interrupts can be triggered. The void loop, I've just put a dummy delay in this. Uh, it can Any code can be put into this. So this basically means that the void loop is not doing anything. Here's the timer compare a interrupt vector and this gets triggered whenever the TCNT value matches the value in OCR 1A. So here we go. TCNT, when this interrupt is triggered, the uh, TCNT value is 31,250. So I reinitialize it to 0. And then I change status to not of sta status and write it to ADD pin. That is, I am toggling it. So this is how the simple code works. I connect my Arduino and I flash the code to it and here's how it works. Thank you.